Never apologizing. Never being wrong. That would be my father. Edit. We have done a lot of things wrong with you, but you have to just accept it, because we're your parents. My mother said this to me, while my father just sat and glared at me without saying a word. UHM. No. I ran to a friend's house in the middle of the night three weeks ago without telling you, because I don't accept it. Stayed with the friend for a while longer after that. They talk at people without listening, or sense of empathy, and get quick to anger when called out. At same time they're usually the type of person who just tells it like it is or is brutally honest. Bonus points if they claim to be a logical thinker, while being the most emotional person in the room. Not learning how to perform basic domestic tasks like laundry, dishes, etc. If they make an active decision not to learn those things, it just tells me they want a mommy and not a partner. Do these guys just keep a string of girlfriend mommies? How do you function beyond your late teens without being able to take care of basic housekeeping? Screeching down a neighborhood in the evening. I know you're referring to doing it in a vehicle, but I'm imagining a grown man sprinting down the street screaming at the top of lung. Feeling the need to outman the other men you are around. I knew a guy like this. He was exhausting af and would be the guy to start fights in clubs when he had a few drinks. Everybody but the man child in question will notice this. Never owning up to your mistakes and constantly blaming someone slash something else for them. How dare you point that out. I'm an alpha. I always just think of this in terms of software. Ah yes, alpha. Feature incomplete and untested. When he refers to watching his own kids as babysitting or acts like it's a favor. I help my wife with the kids. Currently moving out of the apartment I share with my boyfriend because he is jealous of my dog, the one I had for years before we started dating. It started off with little things and has escalated to the dog needing to be in a cage 24 over 7 or I get the silent treatment. Good riddance, fucker. Good for you. Lack of respect for people doing things for them, even when paid. Being short or rude to service slash staff, not saying thank you and please, etc. Thankfully, this is usually easy to spot on first dates. My boss is like this. First time I realized she is a bad person and my respect for her tanked. Alpha, beta, sigma nonsense. I'm an alpha male, I'm not even close to ready for a public release, but I'm hoping for an open beta soon. Three children stacked on top of each other, in a trench coat. Ah, I see you've met Vincent Adultman, who works at the business factory. Not taking out your garbage for weeks on end, when you live in an apartment building, even when the weather gets really hot and your trash stinks so badly that simply walking into the building is like, being hit in the face with a decomposing corpse. Yes, manchild in hash 33, I'm talking to you. You should ask for a wellness check, he could be dead, or trying to hide a body. He breaks stuff, and punched holes in walls over things, doesn't even matter how big or small the trigger. Immediate signal he's a man-child and incapable of regulating himself and his emotions. Edit. Seeing some people defend this behavior or arguing semantics. If a man is constantly showing aggressive behavior to the point of breaking things, or is someone who defends this behavior, yeah I'd say both are massive red flags. I used to have a huge problem with this, I'm glad I don't act that way anymore. Lifted camo wraps of, that is neither lifted properly, nor truly off-road capable. LARPing as military on roads. Pavement princesses. Can't control your temper. There's nothing more pathetic than seeing a grown adult man having a hissy fit. Not taking care of your animals. Huge monster energy logus in his back window. I'm always amazed when I see stuff like that because I simply can't imagine who this person is. I used to work in construction and knew plenty of white trashy redneck dudes. Never met one that would have had a monster sticker on their truck. I worked in sales which was populated with a bunch of sketchy coke head dudes. No monster stickers. Used to hang out with a few hardcore gamers like full on energy drinks never water mountain dew loving. Haven't changed their shirt in 3 days gamer brothers. 
None of them would have done that, and yet I see these stickers all the time. Does anybody know who these monster energy drink sticker people are? If you know one, please explain this character to me, because I don't think I have ever met one. I genuinely don't know who these people are. Edit. So I'm getting gym brothers, extreme sports people, and people that work around activities sponsored by Monster, and I suppose that makes sense, since I don't think I've ever been very close to that stuff. Putting other men down for liking books or video games, while they obsess over sports, Fast and the Furious, and cars. Everyone has a hobby and we all have things we enjoy. Liking video games or books doesn't make you any less of a man. Acting like watching sports makes you manly always seems like projection to me. How is a guy sitting on his fat a asterisk asterisk watching football games all weekend any better than another guy sitting on his a asterisk asterisk reading books or playing video games all weekend? It's the same damn thing. Yeah, how is memorizing football stats and wearing the memorabilia not considered nerdy? I don't get it. Weaponized incompetence. Intentionally doing a piss poor job at whatever you're asked to do just to ensure that you're never asked to do it again. Unfortunately, this is actually a vital skill in the workplace that everyone needs to know. The reward for hard work is more work, so you need to learn how to lengthen tasks to fill time, rather than sprinting to do as much as you can and burning out. You also need to learn how to be too incompetent to do things that aren't, and shouldn't be, your responsibility. Semicolon. I used to believe in meritocracy and never would weaponize incompetence for 40 years. All my hard work got me was a broken back, literally, held together with titanium. Semicolon. You stretch your tasks to fit the time frame and get too stupid to do things that shouldn't be your responsibility. Semicolon. I've never seen weaponized incompetence to cause anyone to fail. They usually fail upwards repeatedly by being too stupid to do grunt labor tasks. The truth is that they're actually being smart by being too stupid to do shitty tasks. Truck nuts. Truck nuts. Always needing to be right. I don't always need to be right, but I have a very bad habit of not being able to let incorrect information slide. I'm big on propagating factual info, and when someone insists they are right about something, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that they are wrong, I don't have it in me to just ignore it. I'm aware of it though, and it's not something that I'm particularly proud of. At the same time I also feel it's important to me, the truth matters and maybe now more than ever. I just need to find a better way to handle it I think. Or hell, who knows, it's also entirely possible that I just need to learn to let it go. I'm too old for this s asterisk 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 haha. Bitches about having to babysit his own kids. I hate when people say oh you babysitting the kids today was like oh no I'm looking after my children. My